Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. So, the plan for today is <laughs> that I'm going to start by well checking to see if I have enough like of the free wishes because I think I might have enough of the free wishes to do the um do some of those, and then we're going to do my daily quests. I'm not going to forget those ones this time. <laughs> so we're going to check in on uh, Xavier, and we're going to check in on. The guy, I forgot his name, but the Temple of Pervases. And then we're gonna... Then we're gonna continue with the event stuff. I think we're up to Inazuma now for the TCG Tournament Card Snatcher ordeal. And then if I finish that, I don't know, we'll figure out what happens next. Anyway, <laughs> let me see who's here. Uh, Child of Peace is here, Indoor Petrical's here, and some Typhons here. Hello! Welcome, welcome! Good to see you! <laughs> yeah, we're off to a great start, but it, it's gonna be fine! <laughs> anyway, uh, do oh no, I have eight of them? Okay, let me see if the shop reset yet. Has it has it reset? Nope. Okay, never mind. We can do one of these next stream because by next stream I'll have accumulated ten. So that's fine. Anyway, anyway, daily quests mustn't forget the daily quests. So the first daily quest is I don't know, but we're gonna go check in on Pervases because. That's the one I remembered first. <laughs> um, Little Petrical was here? Oh! There's a hello message right at the start. <laughs> so they were here briefly, but maybe they're not here anymore. I don't know. <laughs> ah! They have returned. I see, I see. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, you got Rock Lady on your newest account? Who's Rock Lady? There's so many Rock... Ningguang? Or somebody... Noelle? I don't know, it could be... <laughs> there are many people Rock Lady could refer to. Um, okay. Oh, Twitch booted you, I see. Classic Twitch. Classic Twitch. <laughs> but I'm glad you managed to, managed to come back. Okay, where where's my Here it is. Okay. Where is it? I went the wrong way. Classic move there. Okay, let me let me go over here. And we'll go and check in on I already forgot his name. Wang Ping An, I think. Let's let's see what he has to say. Ooh! Hello this is new. I guess he did a good job. Like that that's a whole temple now. <laughs> okay. Hello. The temple's looking the part now. Uh, it is, yes. Eh? Oh, you've got impeccable timing, haven't you? The repairs have just been completed, and I've just finished paying the laborers. Ah, I didn't think it would cost this much more. I've more or less sunk all my earnings into this place. But anyway, the important thing is that the temple has been rebuilt. Would you like to offer some incense? I made a point of getting a new sensor made. Um, sure. I take these incense sticks. The sensor's right over there. Okay. Oh, he's left some food! <gasps> I hope those are grilled tiger fish. Because, because, we know that his, that's his favorite, so it better be. Okay, hello. Well done, how do you feel? Pretty good. Wonderful, I hope that there will always be incense alight in this temple. I'll remain here for a while, this is a quiet spot perfect for my compilation work. I need to get those materials that I gathered sorted out and continue to compile my book about the Vigilant Yaksha. If you have the time, you can drop by this temple and check on things. If you ever want to offer incense, just get some from me. Uh, I'd actually love to do some repairs in the surrounding area as well. The path needs repaving with fences on either side, and we should have a flower bed nearby. Hey! Wait, what happens if you- Oh, he's still here. Wait, what happens if I talk to him? Uh, hello, are you here to offer incense today? Wait. Okay, interesting, interesting. Can I have some? No problem, please wait a moment. Here, take them, the sensor is right there, please go ahead. Okay. Oh, he, he did give me some incense. What if I ask for more? Okay, I guess he just gives you infinite incense. Well, presumably. Um, do many people come here to offer incense these days? A few, not that many. This place is a little off the beaten track, and few people know that there is a temple here at all. Hmm, perhaps I should find some way to let people know this temple is here. Okay, and... Have you finished your book? Not quite. Well, actually, to tell the truth, I'm still a long way off. 
I did collect quite a fair bit of material, but some of the stories don't have enough evidence to back them up. I spent goodness knows how much time just trying to confirm which sources are reliable. So that's my book. Ugh, even I don't know how much longer it'll take at this point. Okay, okay, what happens if we offer incense? Oh, it just looks nice. Okay, well, well that's nice. You got his temple and everything. Well, I hope Avosis is happy because I, I think he'd be happy. Yeah, okay. Well, that's done. I think that might be, I think that's it. Uh, okay, let me see what you guys have done. Okay. Oof, you got hit by loads of ads. That? I don't know why that happened. Maybe it was your... I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, there's a hydrate. Why am I this far in the quest? Because it's only like three daily resets, so... Yeah, it, it's been three streams. <laughs> so, so yeah, that, that's how... Yeah, I think that's it. Um, wait, I think I got an achievement for it. Let me check. Yeah, I think that I think that's done. Hey, cool. Um, oh, ADRX is here. Hello, ADRX. Good, to, good to see you. Um, okay. <laughs> see, the thing is, you were not supposed to get ads. You were supposed to get ads at the beginning because I ran three minutes of ads, which is, I assume, the eight minutes of <laughs> the eight ads that um. The hyphen ended up with, but you're not supposed to get ads after that. So I don't know how you suddenly got hit with eight ads because that shouldn't have happened. But like, mm, I didn't see any ads. <laughs> oh yeah, I am sub. That would explain it. Um, no, because you're not supposed to get ads unless you shop an hour late. At which point, the pre rolls are turned back on because I can only turn them off <laughs> for an hour at a time. And I don't run ads in the middle, which means that they always they always start again um, one hour in. So if you're in the first hour, you shouldn't get ads. Unless you obviously watch the ads when they were, you know, playing at the beginning. So I don't know. Okay, anyway, hello, Xavier. What have you got for me today? Aha, my goodness, these tests went very smoothly indeed. The Onokabuto have been completely petrified. Well then, let's... All we do now is to plan our route inside, and we can begin in earnest. However, we must avoid those Fatui. It seems that we'll always have to take the long way. This thing is rather bulky, so it'd be best for us to ensure that there are smooth paths for us to take as we move inside. As such, I'd like you to re-enter the Mikagi Furnace to investigate. If you encounter any broken paths, please help restore them a little. I get to decide our route, but having more roads open to us could not hurt, surely. I don't know how to do that, but okay! Now oh, you don't have to restore them too well. Perfect reliability. Just place a layer of wooden planks down so that we can move this device across. You can just grab the wooden planks from nearby, I'll remain here and try to make our machine as reliable as it can possibly be. Okay, where am I getting planks from? Okay. I mean, this is a prime example of how it's not very- like, how, you can hardly climb that! How hard would it be to do that while holding a really heavy device? I'd say quite difficult. We're just gonna ignore her. <laughs> Okay, uh, investigate and repair the paths. Okay, looks like there's a path somewhere this way? I don't know if these are up or down though, so... Okay, one of them looks to be up, but the other one... Nope, they're all up. Okay, I went the wrong way. Let me... <laughs> Let me start this. Actually, no. I can take the lift. Well, I'm going to attempt to take the lift. We all know how well that usually goes, but <laughs> I have high hopes here. Hopefully... I can just take the lift and it will all be fine. Because usually the problems come when I am either too impatient for the lift or too slow. So, if I think about it carefully, hopefully this time, it'll be the perfect speed and I won't, I won't mess it up terribly. Okay, okay, I got on the lift and I got off the lift and everything seems to be working correctly. Which is honestly a first. I don't think I've successfully taken that lift before until right now. <laughs> so that that's good. I'll take that as a victory. I'll take that victory. Um, I don't know where I'm going though, so... Oh well. It's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, oh! 
kind of want those bugs, but like, I'm not going back down there. Okay, where's the... Okay, we need to get one of these. And now, where am I supposed to be going? But, oh, I'm too high now. What do you mean I'm too high? Oh, this is probably it, isn't it? This very broken path. Might, might be the thing I'm supposed to be repairing. Okay. Okay, let me... Repair the path. Like, literally, I've done nothing. That path is as broken as it already was. Okay, how do I... This is very... <laughs> I'm going slow because I know myself and I would fall down that hole. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Okay, so it looks like I got two down and there's one more somewhat, somewhat that way. But, oh, Yaka's not doing so great. We're gonna take a little healing break and then I'm gonna go over here Grab the um, Sakura thing, <laughs> and then we're gonna try and go vaguely this way. Oh, I see it, I see it. Oh, I didn't get the Raj, but it's fine. Okay, I think this is the last one. So hopefully, it's just this, and then we can go talk to Xavier, probably. And then, we're almost done. I think this quest, we've gotta be almost done with this quest, right? Like, surely, surely. Given, we're, you know, we've, we've done the data collecting, we've done some initial tests, and now we're like fixing the walkways. Surely. Surely this is almost done. Okay, this is... this is fine. I think I'm going the wrong way though, but it, it'll be fine. Just gotta... oh! Yeah, we're just gonna yow yow for a bit. <laughs> I think that's the solution here. I don't think Ayaka is gonna... Yeah, she's not gonna... Yeah. She's gonna be... She's gonna be yeah, yeah. And try and figure out how I'm supposed to get up to Xavier. Because I think he's up here. But that's a big wall. And I'm also not good at climbing things, so... <laughs> oh well. Okay. Okay, I'm up here. Perfect. Hello, Xavier. All right then, have you checked your roads? They're as smooth as can be now. All right there, then let's set off after a brief wait. Uh, hey, are you... Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of all the things that could possibly happen, you understand? For example, what we'll do if those masked lunatics have already extracted the core when we enter? They might shove it into some ruin guards, causing it to go berserk and send us all flying. Or maybe some sort of elemental creature might emerge as we are purifying the Makagi furnace and might devour the core in a single bite. In the worst case scenario, that legendary serpent might use the opportunity to resurrect itself. Then we'd be doomed, it'd be game over. Game over! Get a hold of yourself, Xavier. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, my old ab habits are actually up again. I always envisioned the worst case scenarios. I'll make some plans, and once the time comes, let us go and put an end to this. Please go well, please go well, please go well. Huh. Cool. <laughs> okay, let me, let me see. Let me see what you guys are saying. Um, okay. Did I already do that hydrate? I don't think so. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. So, okay, so there's one hydrate. Wait, let me let me count. One, two, I think there's five hydrates. Okay, let me have some water. Okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, I'm just ignoring all of you guys. Ah. Okay, anyway, what was I doing? Oh, um, another thing that I've just been doing and didn't mention, and I'm gonna, while well, I'm in Lyra, no wait, no, in Azuma, and we're gonna say in Azuma anyway, but while we're here, there is a thing that I think I'm on day three out of three. No, I think I'm on day four out of four, so we're gonna see, see what this does. It's one of those sort of things that's not a quest, but almost is a quest. It's like what I was doing and then I ended up, it triggered the, um, the quest with, um, the one where I was being, a ninja? I forgot what it was called. Um, the one with Gendo Ringo. Um, anyway, I think it's gonna trigger one of those. So there's a chest here, and there's this, this, this guy. 
who's been saying some very cryptic stuff. Okay. Well, we're going to pay respects to the shrine. Um, pay respects. Okay. Hmm. Washizu is still muttering to himself by the side. He doesn't look well at all. The shrine is still an unresponsive. Perhaps this is all a scam. You try to listen, but nothing happens. You see, there's a glowing purple thing. So let's see what this guy says. Because he's been... He's... I think he's crazy. Uh, you are here. How are you doing? Thank you for forgiving my sins. Please let me return to you. Are you talking to me? Uh, what? But why? I presided over every sacrifice and I accepted every one of your blessings. But she, branded by you, established by your hand, has fled from your blessings. She has betrayed us. What are you talking about? Um, sorry, sorry. I should not doubt his choice. Continue to endure. Continue to worship. Can you hear me? Continue to endure. Continue to worship. Continue to endure. Continue to worship. Yeah, so there's this guy. He's been muttering on about him, his blessings. You should listen to him. And it's all kind of crazy. And I don't know what he's doing. But it's... yeah. Okay, this actually says, seeing Waiju... I'm saying this wrong. Wa... Washizu in the state, do you still want to keep paying respects? We gotta pay respects because it's gonna trigger something, but... But... <laughs> what is it gonna do? Okay, you hear the wind whistling through the great serpent's bones, but the ancient corpse remains still. It seems to have been weathered by the sea into an instrument, the most mournful instrument in the ocean. You try to listen, but nothing happens. Okay... You're supposed to do this three times, so let me let me see what the third one does. Okay, he's still muttering himself. Uh, okay, that's the same thing. Watch out behind you! Huh? Footsteps come from behind you, clearly trying to remain unheard. Watch out! Oh! The time has come for sacrifice. Well, this is fun. I think he's trying to sacrifice me. Always. Always. Okay. I also forgot to heal Ayaka, so this might be a problem. But. I'll be okay. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore it, and hopefully. It'll be fine, because everyone else is mostly intact. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think I triggered a quest, which is kind of what I wanted to do. But yeah, it looks like I've unlocked a new wild quest. I think so. Yeah, sinister instructions. But yeah, I think we figured that out. This guy was fully trying to sacrifice something to some god somewhere. Always a good sign. And uh, yeah. Just gonna ignore that one. <laughs> anyway, so what we were actually supposed to be doing today is continuing the the quest, the the whole Genshin, uh, not Genshin, Genius Invocation tournament in the Anazuma branch. Um, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> and yeah, so I think it's supposed to be in Rito. So where is it? Ah, here it is. Navigate. Where are we going? Okay, yeah, it would make sense we'd be on the docks, because I- th Oh, may I just go to the teleport? I think that might be the solution here. Yes, okay. Okay! Well, look, promo posters everywhere from the moment you arrive in the harbour. Hmm, Paimon gets more and more curious about the two inventors of this game every time we see the posters. Not the only one. There's so little information to go off that there's all sorts of wild speculation about them. Some people say that they invented the game after the God of Wisdom gave them an epiphany, while others say that they're not actually the inventors at all. By the way, have you two ever read a book called King of Invocations? No. But it's a story about a young boy who gets possessed by the spirit of the Crocodile King and becomes a TCG player. It's quite fascinating. I made sure to read it before coming on this trip. Some people have even speculated the author of King of Invocations is the boy who was possessed while the true inventors of the game are the Crocodile King and Ibis King from the Legends. Ooh. Each of these theories gets more ridiculous than the last. Exactly, which is why the original author came forward to deny these rumours. But that only fueled the debate further and the book sales skyrocketed. It can't be denied that the King of Invocation novels are a major part of why Genius Invocation TCG has become so popular. Just look at the venue, they're almost treating this like a national festival. I bet the book is going to sell more copies after this. Huh, you can be sure that the fox lady is behind all this. Fox lady? Yeah, Yay Miko. She's chief editor of the Yay Publishing House. Paimon can just imagine her eating some fried tofu as she instructs her editors to use this event to boost light novel sales. Ah uh, yes, I've been in that situation many times myself. 
Although in our case, the boss would be drinking coffee and talking about newspaper sales. It's like bosses are the same everywhere. Okay. Okay. Let's let's see. Where are we going? Look for clues. Oh, I can't believe I forgot we were actively investigating these mysterious card things. So we're gonna go over here. I have seen the area a little bit because I had to come here for um. I did the the mini games. <laughs> Some of them, anyway. Um, and they're all around Rito, and I was desperately trying to avoid triggering this, and I'm lucky I didn't. <laughs> okay, uh, the scenery in every nation is so different, this trip is really paying dividends. A good thing you're able to be so optimistic about it. It sounded like you were pretty much forced to come on this trip, whether you wanted to or not. Huh? Wait, is that who Paimon thinks it is? It's A! Keiko, Paimon, we meet again. Oh, who is this? Ah, allow Paimon to introduce you. Huh? Seems like that's all Paimon's been doing these past few days. Anyway, this is Charlotte, she's a journalist from Fontaine. And this is A, she's a, she's a Nazima's Archon. A what? You mean Her Excellency, the almighty Narakami Gosho God of Thunder? Uh, hello, please forgive me for not recognising you, I... As a guest from afar, there's no need to be so formal. Right, I mean, okay. Ah, each of your acquaintances is more impressive than the last. Miko invited me here to experience the fun and festivities along with everybody else. Oh, Paimon gets it. The tournament venue is full of excitement and tasty food, and Miko didn't want you to miss out. I guess I'll let you catch up for now. We can meet up later, just like last time. Yeah, sure thing. See ya, Charlotte. Well, perhaps she felt a little intimidated by me. You're probably fine. Don't worry, she didn't leave because of you. We split up like this in the previous places we visited too. So how do you like Genius Invocation TCG? I'm on bets you're enjoying watching the tournament matches. But in fact, I myself am competing in the tournament. Wait, really? Why is that surprising? Playing cards is an ancient form of entertainment, and I was curious to see what card games are like in this day and age. How's it been? I advanced all the way to the semi-finals. The semi-finals? That's amazing. So when's your next match? Unfortunately, the semi-finals is where my journey ended. The reason being... The reason being that she lost to me, and when I say lost, that doesn't begin to do it justice. It was quite a humiliating defeat. <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I only lost because I was duped by her little tricks. What's wrong with my little tricks? Trickery within the scope of the rules is better known as ingenuity. It's not my fault that some people spend all their time cooped up in Tenshikaku and never have the chance to hone their skills. Uh, what a unique friendship. Huh, you're right, though I should have made an effort to get out more. Many things have changed now that Inazuma is at peace. However, it seems that some people continue to fear the divine light just as before. In some of my tournament matches, I could see my opponent's hands shaking, hesitant to play their cards. Now I think about it, perhaps they were scared of what would happen if they defeated me. Oh! <laughs> oh, I see what might have happened here. Because Yemiko would not have let her win, no matter what, but some of the regular people might have thought about it. <laughs> Ah, dear dear, other players lose their game and throw a tantrum. You win yours and yet you still find a reason to mope about it. I invited you out for some simple fun and games. I should have known you'd be like this. Anyways, you should watch and learn, because I plan on using some more of my little tricks to defeat that divine priestess from Watatsumi Island. Oh, so Kokomi is your opponent in the finals? Mm-hmm. On one side will be your erstwhile comrade in arms, the leader of Watatsumi Island, and on the other will be head shrine maiden Ye Miko, the wise and beautiful, so little one who will you support. I'm just not going to answer that one. <laughs> uh, Miko, come on, I need to put them on the spot like that. <laughs> I know, I just wanted to see how they'd react. The venue is right over there, why not go and take a walk around? Oh, and if you meet my fellow finalists, do pass on my regards. Okay, guess we're going to go look for Kakomi. It's somewhere up here. Uh, hey, comrade, and flying lavender melon. I think this would make more sense if we'd actually met this guy. Because <laughs> I don't know who he is. Have we met him? I know I have the other lady there, the per the green lady. We have her, but I don't know who this guy is. Well, I know, like, of him, but I don't know him. Uh, make way, people. Arataki Ito, head of Hanamizaka's Ar Arataki gang, rolling right up. Behold these awesome horns, the suave smile, and the rich, velvety voice. 
That's the leader of the Arataki gang for you. Whether spinning tops, kendama, bug fighting, or cards, or the kids' games. Well, either way, Arataki Ito knows them all. Yep, he knows it all. How's that? Cool, huh? So wanna join the crew? Ugh. Bull Chucker, don't call Paimon that in public! Uh, it's been too long. Aha! What would this tournament be without Arataki, the ultimate TCG champion, Ito? Did he just whip out a comb? <laughs> this guy is so dramatic. I love it. Uh, matter of fact, the whole Arataki gang showed up in force. Our goal? To bring home the grand prize. And as fate would have it, Boss was the only one who didn't make it out of the qualifiers. <laughs> okay, Shinobu. Uh, deputy of the Arataki gang, legal consultant, expert chef, expert tailor, Kugi Shinobu. Uh, the more many qualifications Shinobu has passed exams for, big and small, are printed on the face of her name card, and her fields of expertise are many indeed. Please contact me at Hanamazaka if the gang's members do anything discourteous, and the matter will be fixed within three days. You can see the emotion behind these words in the way that written on the back in hands so strong that you can see the outlines on the card's front face. You can't help but wonder if it is matters or people that are going to get fixed. Oh, I see. It sounds like she's in charge, really. Uh, hey, that's not the point. It was just some bad luck, that's all. I got matched against a strong opponent in the first round. Besides, it was a close match. It could have swung either way. I wouldn't exactly call losing in three rounds a close match. Hey, Shinobu, cut me some slack in front of my friends, okay? Anyway, it's not like you did much better. Weren't you beaten by that fish lady? Sandy? <laughs> Sandy Mamma Mia, whatever her name was. Sangra Mia Kokomi, Watatsumi Island's military strategist. Yes, she beat me fair and square. I don't have a problem with that. Well, anyway, I've noticed something in this competition. If you want to win big here, you need style. That's right, I'm talking card backs. I lost my match because my backs... Because the backs are whack. But the style of card backs and a player's skill don't have anything to do with each other. Oh, no, no, no. That's where you're wrong, Mini Melon. <laughs> it's just like how the strongest on a Kaboto have the strongest cards on their back. If your cards are cool, then you'll definitely draw a better hand. While speed of fighting, playing TCGs are completely different. In cards, you actually have to rely on your own skill. Yeah, there's no use arguing with you. Why don't we let our friend here weigh in, hmm? Yeah, I don't want to get in the middle of this. Why don't we play a match and see? Now, hey, you're right, that's a pretty neat idea. How about this? Shinobu, lend me your deck. We've got some pretty slick... You've got some pretty slick card backs. Uh, but Keiko probably has cool card backs too. Maybe even better than yours. In that case, you can use my deck. Boss, how do I put this? Nobody would could win with that deck of yours, no matter who uses it. Hey, quit busting my chops. Sheesh, what do you say, Chadler? You got time for a match now? Oh! Okay, I guess I'm playing TCG. Uh, great, see, this is what I call the true... Oh, compadre. Ha ha ha. Alright, I'll be the judge then. Just remember to take it easy, you two. This isn't a high stakes match. It really doesn't matter who wins or loses. Ugh, don't you guys hear that? It's the cry of my cards cheering me on in the wind. My cards, you mean? Okay, I guess we just gotta. Yeah, we just gotta do this. Um, turns out I tried doing some like challenging some people in. I think it was Wangshu In, or maybe it was Chingsei Village. I don't know. But they asked me to use like a set deck. It threw me off greatly when I have to use other cards. So this might not end well <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing. What does this do? Okay. No, I don't need these. Let's see what we have. See if we get any better cut. Um, also, I've missed so much of what you've been saying. Uh... <laughs> uh, this is... Does Arataki have a TCG rap? I hope he does. It'd be very fitting considering we saw Hu Chao and Kazaha have their little poetry moments in the last one. Um, this is the the event quest. The TCG quest. <laughs> oh, hydrate. Okay. Ooh, a stretch. A good stretch. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um... Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. This is fine. I mean, no, he's rock, isn't he? Uh, let's be... Chung Yun. Maybe. 
Are they all Claymore characters? Is that why he had three Claymores? If I should have kept a Claymore. It's fine. Uh, yes. Didn't get any ice dice. Oh no, there are my ice dice. Perfect. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is fine. Um, what does this do? Uh, oh. Oh, if it's the active character. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to do with those, so we're just gonna not do anything. And we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens. I'm not very good at TCG. Which is mildly a problem right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Um. This is fine. We're gonna switch to him and we're gonna wait because I seem to have rock dice and rock dice only. <laughs> so. Rock dice it is! Okay. Ooh! Interesting, interesting. What is this do? Oh! Okay. I guess... It just summons a cow! Don't know what the cow does! But there is a cow now. Oh, it's a shield cow! I see. I like- it looks like the cow is wearing a roof? Oh. Eh, might as well use that up. <laughs> okay, have, have that. And we're gonna end the round. Oh! It did rock damage. Oh, it's gone. You know what? It was a good cow. I appreciate the cow. <laughs> Okay, so what will I get this time? Literally none of these dice are useful, let me... <laughs> they were right, he doesn't have the good cards. Well, my favourite cards are the cards that let you swap characters and the cards that let you, um... What is it? Swap characters and... Oh, get dice. <laughs> and none of his cards do that, which is very... Very irritating. But that, that's fine. Okay, what do you use? Are you a Claymore character? Is that a Claymore? I think, yeah, that's a Claymore. Okay. This is, this is fine. Um... There's like nothing good. It's all rubbish. But that's... Just how it goes, I guess. We're just gonna... Stab Kolo with the Claymore. And then, I don't know. What happens if you lose? <laughs> like what then? What are you supposed to- how are you supposed to come back from that? <laughs> oh dear, let me- let me swap to Razor? I don't know. You can see, he was right. Look, she's got purple crystal card back. We've just got standard ones. No wonder nothing is working. <laughs> okay. I never like these, so get rid of that. <laughs> get rid of this. <laughs> oh dear. And then... You know what? Wait, what, is it? what does this do again? Two elemental dice. That's not gonna be enough dice. Okay, well, we'll just we'll just do this, and it'll be fine. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well, we solved that problem. Anyway, <laughs> just gonna just gonna leave. Uh, yeah, I'll give this to Razor. Why not? And then ending the round. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this goes okay. Okay, um, ooh! It really depends on what these things do. Because I do not know. Okay, we got some Omni Dice this time. This, this is good. Maybe, maybe we can stick with Razor. And he can do some damage. Maybe. 
Maybe. Uh, okay, what does this do? One less dice. Oh, these are all the same. Okay. Fine. Razor, have this, and then just don't... Don't die. <laughs> you can just... Just do a whole bunch of attacks. We'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, I should have given him one of these. I think I will, because this, I think, does more damage. So, yeah, Razor, have that. <laughs> and then... Do this. I should have done it earlier. Oh well, it'll be fine. <laughs> Oh. That was fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay, let me see you into it. Um... Oh, hello, Ave. Good to see you, good to see you. Oh. Uh... Okay, well, we're gonna use Chong Yun because <laughs> Razor's down. Yeah, this is. Hmm. Might lose. I don't know what happens. Are you supposed to win or lose this match? I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, dear. This is why I need my deck. My deck is great. <laughs> well, it's not great, but it's better than this. Um, Yeah, okay. This, at least I got three of those this time, which is not bad. Oh, I got some ice. Also good. Also good. Um, okay. This is- what's this do? These are the se- okay, okay. Do this. Wait, let me- let me see. You know what, I'm gonna give one of these. Cause this is the best I've got. And then I'm gonna give him one of these. Wait. Ooh, one da more damage. Ooh. Okay. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, but I think one bad move, and this is not gonna end well for me. Oh. Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> she's still got full health. Oh, she summoned a thing. Right. Ooh. She's damp. Which means my ice. It's gonna make a difference. Okay. Well, I have no dice left. So this probably isn't gonna end well for me. But. Maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> it's not gonna be okay if that thing throws something at me. Um... Yeah, that. <laughs> I think. Oh, I'm still alive. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can get her in one move though, because <laughs> as soon as she does anything, that's it. Oh well. Hopefully, it doesn't make me play this again. Um, I only need rock dice really, so <laughs> we're just gonna do that. Okay, okay, um... This is fine. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> now what happens? I should just- what happens if I just reject it? Like, is it am I gonna have to play this again? I hope not. Because <laughs> that did not go very well. Okay, okay, this is fine. Wait! Talk to Ito? Ah, ha ha ha, see my theory was correct. So to get to you, you were using boss's deck after all. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Uh, actually, we were looking for Kokomi, have you seen her around? Or as Arataki Numero Uno Idioso so eloquently called her, the fish lady. You'll want to talk lavender melon. Uh, her match in the finals will be starting shortly, so she can't be far. Why don't you ask Kujusara over that? The Temuya Commission is in charge of managing access to the venue and maintaining order. Hey, just remember that if you ever if you ever want to play another match, you can find me anytime. Ah, okay. What do you have to say? Because you got to talk to the characters too. Uh, what's up, com compadre? You here to play another game? 
No, <laughs> I am not. Alright, so you go do what you gotta do, asking it. What about Shinobi? What does she have to say? Ah, uh, what's up? Oh, wait. Okay, that's the same thing. We I am not doing that again. <laughs> We're gonna go and try and find Kakomi because. Oh, okay, Sara. Hello, Sara. Well, I'm hoping I clicked Sara. I might have clicked the other guy. Um, hi, Sara. We're looking for Kakomi. Have you seen her anywhere? I saw her ex at the venue after the semi finals, but she hasn't returned since. Now, if you're looking for her excellency, I believe she's currently near the western shore of Rito. Oh, uh, Goro, good to see you. Now, hello, you two. Is there something the matter? Maybe we just wanted to say hello to Kakomi. Uh, hmm, now I think about it, her opponent in the finals will be a tough one to beat. Who are you rooting for, Sara? Up till now, the Almighty Shogun had my full support, but now that she's been eliminated from the tournament, in truth, I don't really care. I'm on board for sure, you'll be rooting for Miko. I certainly would, in the past. But now that the island Narukami and Watatsumi are on some amiable terms, we're all friends. Those are exactly her excellency's thoughts as well. The point of a game of cards between friends is to exchange skills and enjoy the game together. It's not about who wins or loses. She hopes that this spirit of friendly competition will define Inazuma going forwards. Hmm, a commendable attitude. Her opponent is skilled in the art of deception. Even if she appears to have worry written all over her face, don't fall for it. She's likely trying to lead you into her trap. It's nice to see two generals who were once enemies on the battlefield now looking out for each other. Do not be mistaken, I speak only in the interest of fairness. The moment I saw the name Sangamiya on the list of competitors, I anticipated she would make it into the finals to face the almighty Shogun. I've watched every one of her matches. She constantly adapts to strategy and excels at employing rare and unusual tactics. But after the almighty Shogun's loss, I'm afraid that Lady Guji may have may also have caught wind of Kokomi's strategies. Ah, so you want to make sure kokomi has got intel on the other side too. Wow, trust Sara to make sure everything is fair and above board. Thanks for your insights, General Kujo. I will be sure to pass them along to her excellency. Don't mention it. The match will be starting shortly. Please let her know to get back to the venue soon. Righty then, I'll get going. Okay, where am I? Oh, looking for Kakomi. That's what I'm doing. Apparently she's on... Somewhere this way. I'm just gonna go over this way and hopefully you bump into her soon. Because I don't know where I'm going. Um... Okay, it looks like she's... Somewhere... Oh, she's over here. Kakomi. Uh, Paimon, Oh, and Keiko's here too. Surprise to see us, we came to wish you good luck in the competition. Ah, so what are you doing out here, Keiko? Taking in the view? Wait. Kokomi, not Keiko. <laughs> what are you doing, Kokomi, taking in the view? Yes, the soothing sound of the ocean waves do make me feel peaceful. But I actually came hoping to see Watatsumi Island. Ah, huh? can you really see Watatsumi Island from here? Let Paimon take a look. Well, can you see it? Uh, let's see, that must be Kanazuka, and a little further than that, there's Yash... Yashiori Island. Hmm. Nope, can't see Watatsumi. Even on a perfectly clear day like this, you can't see Watatsumi Island from Narakami Island. Imagine trying to see it when the islands were surrounded by storms. The islands are on peaceful terms now, the dark clouds of war still linger in some people's hearts. Even when friends argue, they still need time to reconcile. Think of how much time is needed when the conflicting sides could never even see each other. You okay? Oh, sorry, my mind was drifting to some more serious topics. You didn't join the tournament just to play cards, did you? But yes, I thought you might understand. Huh? What are you talking about? Who wins and who loses isn't what's most important. What's important is that Her Excellency came here to compete with all of Inazuma watching. Yes, some people will be travelling between Watatsumi Island and Narakami Island from this day forwards. The point I hope to make is... Even though we believe in different gods, we can all come together as friends by playing cards at the table. We should be willing to cooperate and assist one another in the future. You could say I'm playing cards to help dissolve enmity. Using a simple game of cards to drive major social change. Yes, that's a good way to put it. Besides, my passion has always been in the tactics and strategy. How can I pass up the chance to play in a tournament for a strategic game like this? Ah, so you have your personal reasons to play too? Ah, yes, partly. You should be careful of that fox lady. Even Sara warned us that she'll be a cunning opponent. Yes, it seems you're not the only one who sees this tournament as a chance to resolve our differences, Your Excellency. Oh, that's good to hear. 
Don't worry, Paimon, I've already thought of a variety of stratagems for this match. Wow, Paimon's really looking forward to the final now. And Paimon swears that she's actually going to see it this time, no matter what, Paimon won't let herself get distracted, not even by all the tasty snacks in Inazuma. I'm also looking forward to it. Uh, thank you, alright, let's go. Okay, I guess we're gonna... Oh, we're actually gonna watch a final this time. This is exciting. We keep missing them to go looking out for the, the card snatcher, but I think this time we might actually get to watch. I also don't think this was a smart way to get into the building because there is a ledge, so we're gonna run on the outside. Oh, I guess I'm close enough that <laughs> it's triggered the, the cutscene. Yasmus Archon bolts her way to the semi-finals only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. Ooh, that's a nice title. The lightning from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? I don't think the Nitro Archon would get upset over a minor thing like this. Hey, what are you two chatting about? Wait a sec, the real question is how many times are we going to run into Kirara? That is a good point, we've run into her three out of three so far. Uh, talk about a coincidence, right? What are the chances? I interviewed a few people around Rito, but no details on the car snatcher, unfortunately. After that, I ran into Kirara here. We got to chatting, and then I found out that she knew you too. Uh, sorry, you said the card snatcher. I'll let Paimon explain. Paimon tells her everything. Uh, hmm, I think I already have some insights regarding the truth of this matter. Really? That fast? Uh, but it's a little complicated, and the finals are about to start. Let me put it this way, though. The key to this case is actually Kirara. What? Okay, huh? Wait, what, me? Having chatted with Kirara, I was starting to think the same thing. Sorry, I don't have time to explain now. We'll have to continue after the tournament's finished. Just focus on your match. Uh, what should we do? Pymus are trying to wrap her head around that. Kakomi was only working off of what Paimon told her. How come Paimon can't find the answer? Is Paimon really as dumb as a lavender melon? Don't worry about it. Let's let's watch the competition. Uh, okay. Uh, welcome to the final round of the King of Invocations Grand Prix Nazman Regional Final. Our contestants are Guji Ye Niko of the Grand Narikami Shrine versus Sanganamiya Kakomi, Divine Priestess of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Without further ado, let the final match begin. Uh, yay, it's starting! Now to find out who will play first. If you took your time, I was starting to wonder if you got lost walking on the seabed Miss Soul of the Deep. You must be tired after the walk back to shore, perhaps I should let you go first. There's no need. I've heard that fried tofu with all the frills gets cold quickly. If you don't serve it right away, then I'm afraid it'll become a cold, greasy mess. Round one, begin. Okay. Hey, they play a close and thrilling game. And the winner is... Hmm. I'm gonna go with Kokomi. I'm gonna be a Kakomi, the divine priestess from Watatsumi Island! She won! Kakomi did it! You've just seen that Kitsune Yokai makes the fur on my tail stand on end. Sorry to keep you waiting! Congrats! Thank you! Uh, Kakomi, that was a real nail biter, but you did it! Amiko is a crafty one, pretending she had no strategy and letting one of her own character cards get defeated. Then she played two cards from her hand that required her to have lost a character card. She came pretty. <laughs> she came pretty close to turning the match around! Goodness, what's all the commotion over here? Discussing something interesting behind my back? Uh, not at all. Paimon was just saying what a real pity it was that you lost. <laughs> it's no pity at all. It was just a little fun competition. We'll see who wins next time. What do you say, Miss Soul of the Deep? How about a rematch? If Miss Fried Tofu with all the frills hasn't gotten too cold, I hasn't gotten too cold, I'd be happy to play. However, Keiko here is waiting for me to help them solve a puzzle they've been facing. Oh really? Then I won't disturb you. I'll go play with Goro instead, it's been a while since I've seen those fuzzy ears of his. Oh, that was a fear response. What has she done? 
Hmm, now back to our conversation. Kiara, you've been delivering items between different nations for the past several days, correct? That's right, I've had quite a few deliveries recently, but what does that have to do with the card snatcher? The strange thing is that Kiara's delivery route has coincided with the card snatcher's movement at every turn. Yes, and therein lies the clue. You mean Kirara is the card snatcher? Huh? Hey, that's not true. I'm just out here doing my job. You can just throw false you can't just throw false accusations at a person. Uh, I mean a yokai like this. Calm down, you two, Kirara's not the thief. Let me ask you, Kirara, have any of your packages in the past few days been from the same sender? Or were any sent to the same destination? Let me think. The senders have all been different, but there's one destination that keeps coming up in every region I've been to. Really? And what destination is that? Uh, I'm not at liberty to give you the exact address, but I can tell you that it's in Sumeru. Were the contents light, no larger than the size of an envelope? How oh, wait, you're not one of those yokai who has prophetic dreams, are you? I used to hear stories about that when I was curled up on my grandma's lap. Oh no, I'm only the divine princess of Watatsumi Island. I just like to read light novels and books about military strategy. Divination's not my field. Well, after all I've said so far, have you arrived at the same answer as me? Let me think. Ooh. Wait. Let me... I'm just gonna click one. The cards... Oh wait. Oh, what is it? Oh, okay. Interpret. Came to Anazuma because we trapped the thief here. We run into Karara multiple times throughout our trip. The contents were light and were no larger than an envelope. Every nation Karara visited had a parcel that to Yeah, the... Oh yeah, no, I thought that was quite obvious. Clearly she's been delivering the cards to some address in Simru. What I want to know is whether that's Sino's house and I was right all along. Because I said at the beginning of the last stream, when we first heard about the card snatcher, what if it's someone like Sino who's just an avid fan? And now they're going to Sumeru. <laughs> so, if it is Sino, I'll be very impressed with myself. <laughs> the contents are probably Genie's invocation cards. Okay, obviously though, if they stole them, that's not good. But, you know what? What does associate mean? Huh? I've already clicked all of these. Okay. Oh, okay, just... Wait. Submit conclusion. Wait, what? That's not the answer. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are none of these the answers? I'm so confused. Is this not? What? <laughs> I clicked all the buttons here. Oh. Oh, I see. The thief is using the express. Yes. Okay. That's not. <laughs> okay. Do I associate that one with this one? Okay, the truth behind the package. Kara's deliveries contain the treasure chest card bags. Okay. Do we have to... Oh, okay. That was just really complicated just to get to the conclusion. Uh, yes, you nailed it. That's the card bags we've been looking for have been right under our noses all along. But there's still one thing that doesn't quite add up. Kara picked up her package in Mondstadt before we encountered the card snatcher. The timing doesn't make sense. I thought about that too. The way I see it, there's more than one thief involved. Telling me not one, but multiple card snatches? Yes, the person you've been tracking most likely is one member of the group. It means the other members had already obtained the cards backs and sent them together. Hmm, now I think about it, collecting all those card backs across so many nations would be nearly impossible for just one person. But why isn't the one we're following ever using Co Comedy Express? Because he's too slow, he probably missed the arranged shipment date. Well, that's how I figured it, at least. From your explanation, he's only committed theft on one occasion, and there were even witnesses. After that, he's been trading or playing to collect the card backs. I suspect this person isn't a very good thief. He probably used the more he was given to arrange shipments with Comedy Express as funds used for trading. Then there's another question now. Why don't the other members just keep the cards and take them back to Sumeru themselves? Ooh, unless there's a reason for them to stay. Yes, that is a question I am still grappling with now. What is the thieves' objective? What kind of secret is hidden behind these card backs? Unfortunately, there's no way to know without seeing one for ourselves. Don't look at me like that. I can't just open a customer's pa parcel. If the company ever find out, I'd be fired on the spot. I don't want to go back to being a yokai in the mountains of Inazuma. I know we don't want to cause any trouble, of course. At this point, maybe it would be best for you all to accompany Kirara to Sumeru. 
Good idea. Going to the delivery location is the only lead worth following now. And if the recipient really is a bad guy, Kira could be in danger. We should come along to make sure you're safe. I can beat up the bad guys. Uh, hey, I know my way around a fight too. I haven't had a single package stolen from me since I started this job. Whenever some picks on me thinking I'd be an easy target to take packages from, I send them running. Well, I want to know who's behind it. Mm, let me think about it. Alright, I'll let you come with me to the delivery point in Sumeru, but on one condition. You have to promise you'll hide somewhere safe where the customer can't see you. Who's ever heard of a group of people delivering the packages? No, no problem, you got it. Also, even if the customer's a bad guy and has stolen things, we should leave that for the local authorities to handle. Absolutely. Next stop, Sumeru. We're really travelling all over the place this time. Good luck, you'll have to tell me how everything turns out the next time we meet. Okay. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again and have a great day!